guys, what's up? It's your girl Camera, and I'm back with another video. And this is Camera Music TV, and I'm here to talk to you guys about Black AF on Netflix. So, Kenya Barris, the producer, director, writer of Blackish, Grownish, Mixedish, um, and a whole slew of other things, put out this mockumentary seven episodes on Netflix, basically about him and his family and life. Okay, and at first I was like, what's the difference between Black AF and Blackish? Okay, they're very similar, very similar. It always, um, and I mean, it, it also causes you to question a lot of the um, decisions made in Blackish. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're here for. If you're new here, subscribe down below, comment. This is not a slander or dragging of Black AF because I know there's a lot of that going on. We're gonna break it down. Let's get into it. All right, so like I said, it's a mockumentary. So the style of the show is that his daughter, second oldest, Drea, is applying to NYU and must submit like a documentary or some type of media project for admission. So she's decided to do this documentary on her family, right? So she is narrating, well, they all kind of narrate, but she there's lots of scenes where you see them all individually doing like a confessional style thing, right? They're sitting in front of the camera, they're talking, they're shedding light on the scene that just occurred. And um, she's also interviewing them, right? And so he has six kids married with his wife, um, whose real name actually is Rainbow. But in the show, her name is Joya. I think it's Joya. So he has three daughters, three daughters and three sons. I don't know if this is more like real life, which I think it is because it's mockumentary style versus blackish, with the, which is based on his life, right? So the first thing that I'm digging is the intro. It's all these black history type of clips. You see Obama, you see Beyonce and Jay-Z, you see, um, I think Nelson Mandela, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, you see all these nice, visually appealing, black, beautiful art in the intro. Okay, so when I first heard the title, I was like, okay, is it is it this because everybody in the show is black is it this because we about to see like straight black stuff like black sayings black euphemisms black like i don't like what is even black ish about is it like blackish like like ish like mm, like if somebody says are you hungry and you're like mm, i'm hungry ish or is it like black ish like a play on the the s word the cuss word i don't know Okay, so there's a lot of confusion. I don't know if it's a double entendre. I don't know. So, anyway, in the show, Kenya Barris is the, the dad. He plays himself. So that's another reason why I feel like, oh, it's really, like, based on their, their family. But everybody else is actors and actresses. So that's another thing that kind of throws you. It's like, okay, why didn't y'all just use the family members? I don't know. So it's a lot of that that's throwing me. So what I see that everybody has a problem with is that it's black AF, but most of the cast and most of the people involved in the show are mixed or, you know, black and white or black and whatever else. Um, there's no real representation of like, um, 4C hair and brown or dark black, dark skin or black skin. And it kind of made me question, I don't know, just go with me. If you are a mixed family, like you don't get to identify as white or Hispanic or Asian or whatever else you're mixed with. Usually you are identified as black. So the life that you lead, the experiences that you have are black experiences. And even though you, there is some privilege in your, you know, you being biracial, for the most part, you are still looked at as black. So when I seen that as an issue, I was just like, Lord, this is his life. Like this is his experience. So we can't even, we can't really be mad. But um, I will say that as I was watching, I was noticing I was like, okay, yeah, I don't really see 
anyone that looks like me and then you know Kenya Barris has this like really like um lavish lifestyle he has all these cars and it's this super nice house and they're all dressed super nice and hair is done to the T and you know like you see all that going on but I couldn't help like as I got into like episode three and four this is when I really started to enjoy it because the first two episodes I was like what am I watching it was taking a minute like to get into it because it was like a lot of vulgarity and maybe not yeah it was, yeah vulgarity and cussing and like the mom and the dad talking crazy to the kids and um but as you start to watch it you're just like okay 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 um there were sections in each episode that were like historically like historic facts and you were able to learn things so i really liked that um, I like how there was no, they weren't shying away from things that we have to deal with as black people. I just think that like as far as the relatability part, like most of us not live in large like that. Um, but it was nice to see, it was nice to see that it's possible for us to be able to do and I think that's a part of it. That's something that Kenya is trying to make sure that he does. Like, let me show black people in this light because we ain't seen it. Let me show black people in the nicest of houses with all the gadgets and with access to whatever they need. Like there is no trauma, there is no, you know, lack or or um, struggle. Like let's just show this, this lifestyle. So I like that part of it. Uh, let me see what else, let me see. It's very like satirical and like, um, um, sarcastic humor um, if you're not into that I suggest you don't watch it. it's very dry humor so it's like an acquired taste so it does take a minute um, very like fast moves fast with the wording you got to catch it got to catch the shade but um I like it I like it it kind of gives me um, what was that was it a black lady sketch show it kind of gives me that like the humor is so intelligent and compact that you got to be listening to get it um it's very nicely written very nicely styled lots of beautiful colors um but there are things that i'm just like yeah i don't know you can't really sit down with family and watch this um maybe the family show is more blackish um so i don't know I don't know I don't get the uproar over it I do think that it was I mean it was great like what's the problem y'all let me know down in the comments what you thought the problem was I think that it had a lot to offer it it showed us a lot that we're not used to seeing when it comes to black people it had lots of great cameos Nia Long Mike Epps um mm, there was lots of others but I just can't can't think of their names but I mean like come on come on but I will say I do agree there were lots of mixed women lots of light skin lots of that going on but you know it's like I said before it's it's um it's true to his own life and his own experience if he was doing a show about like blackish or like if it was a show about someone else's life or if he had written a show like blackish then that's when I would be like okay we need some more representation in here but his kids are mixed his wife is mixed he is light-skinned so that is his experience I don't know you guys let me know what you thought about black AF and if you have not checked it out go to net if you have not checked it out if you haven't checked it out why does it sound weird? If you haven't seen it, go to Netflix now and check it out. Seven episodes. I think it's about 45 minutes per episode. I'm Cameron. This is Cameron Music TV, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.